Today we're going to look at how to play a queen versus pawn endgame. On the board we have set up the ending position where we have a 1-2-3 mate, where you have the black king on the edge of the board, the white queen giving check and guarding the squares around the king, and the white king guarding the white queen. This position starts back here with a position where the white player has just promoted a pawn and the black player is just about to promote a pawn. If it's black's move, obviously he's going to play pawn to e1, queen, and the game will be a draw. But with white to move, he can prevent the pawn from queening and win the game. Let's look at how to do that. Well, the first thing he has to do is either pin the pawn. He can move queen to d3 to pin the pawn, prevent it from advancing, or check. And in this case, he moves queen to f6 check. Now, the black player wants to preserve the possibility of promoting that pawn, so he's not going to move the king in front of the pawn. He's going to move his king off to either g1 or g2 in order to um, allow the pawn to move to e1 if possible. Now the queen must again either check, he can't pin now, but he could guard the queening square. In this case he moves his queen to e5 to both attack the pawn and guard the queening square, and this is good because if uh, black should slip, the white player can just end the difficulty immediately by capturing the pawn. But normally black would not do that. He'll move either to f1 or f2. And so again, now the white player must check or pin the pawn. In this case, he moves to f4 check. Again, the black king has to move off, and the white player attacks the pawn. And now white gives check in a position where he is also attacking the black pawn. Now, should the black king move to g1, white will simply play queen takes pawn, and the game will be over very, very quickly. Consequently, the only reasonable move for black is to move king to e1. And with the black king in front of the pawn, preventing it from promoting, white can take use the move, use the time to advance his king. The only way for white to win this game is to bring the white king up to support um, capturing the black pawn and also giving check to the uh, giving checkmate to the black king. The white queen alone can't do it. He must use both the queen and king in combination to capture the pawn and also to give the checkmate. So that's why it's necessary to move the maneuver, the black king in front of the pawn, and uh, allow the white king to approach. Now the black king goes out on the other side of the of the pawn. And what we'll, we will do now is simply repeat the procedure of maneuvering with the queen to force the black king, continuing to give check or attack the pawn, to maneuver the black king in front of his pawn again to give us another move to advance the king closer to the, to the pawn. It starts with a pin, which is as good as the check, and also allows the queen to look at moving to d4 on his next move. Again, the king, the black king does not want to move in front of his pawn. And now he must move in front of his pawn and that gives the white king an opportunity to approach. We should note here that if the black king moves to f1, the pawn is pinned and that gives white another free move to move his king. That's why the move to f2 or to d2 when, he, when he's moving on the other side is the better move.
forcing the king in front of the pawn, allowing the white king to advance. There is another alternative to pinning, and white moves here to f4 check. And this works similarly to the pinning move. Again, forcing the black king in front of the pawn. The white king advances, and now, with the white king in support, the queen can end the game in four moves. Capture the pawn, and delivering checkmate. You should study the sequence of moves so that you understand how the queen can maneuver the black king in front of his uh, pawn and uh, how to uh, finish the checkmate once you get your king up close enough. You should note that this ending will work when black has a knight pawn, in this case a, a pawn either at b2 or g2, or a center pawn in this case a pawn at d2 or e2. What happens with the rook pawns and bishop pawns will be the subject of another video. If you want to look at more great videos about chess strategy, visit www.chessstrategiesblog.com.